Hi friends, welcome to my channel Food and Living. Today let's watch how to make Loki Kofta Curry. For this we'll take Loki, we'll peel it and then grate it. We'll drain out the excess water by pressing them in the palm. And we'll take the dried grated Loki in a deep mixing bowl. We'll start adding chopped onion. You can add about 2 to 3 tablespoons. Add 1 tablespoon of grated coconut. Red chilli powder, 2 tablespoons, salt, we'll add chopped green chilli, coriander. Now I'm adding the dry ingredients like finely ground groundnut powder, dhania jeera powder, garam masala. I'm adding in the ground sesame powder, sesame powder. Flaxseed powder which is optional. Then I'm adding in 2 to 3 tablespoons of rice flour and then basin flour 2 to 3 tablespoons again. At this point you can mix grated uh, potato as well. You will we'll not add water to this because it will become watery and then we can't have the koftas. So instead we can add uh, potatoes. We'll give a mix and start making balls out of the mixture like I'm doing here. The size of the ball can be you know varied according to your choice made according to your desire big or small we'll first make all the balls and keep them aside meanwhile we'll keep the oil for heating so that once so that once all the balls are ready you can start frying them in the in the hot oil these will be deep fried until they are brown we'll keep the oil ready and start frying them until they are brown This has to be deep fry so that all the inner portion of the ball is also completely cooked. Otherwise, the taste may not be good because we can feel the rawness of the loki which may not taste that nice. Put them in a medium to medium to high flame. And keep a continuous watch on them once they're of this color it is ready to take them out we can take them on a tissue paper and drain the excess oil you can prepare as many koftas as you wish okay and now we'll in a blender we'll take onion tomato chili and coriander and grind them in another kadai we'll put on oil and then Mustard, jeera, turmeric powder. I'll have them to split up. Yeah, now it is splattering, you can see. This is a tasty dish. Okay, now uh, I've already added the chopped onion and fried them. And now I'm adding the ground, whatever we put in the blender, the same mixture is going to be added. Since it is raw, we'll allow it to cook until all the raw order is gone. Like I was telling, this can be had along with the roti, sabjis, puri. It'll taste very nice. It is also a good way to include loki in your diet as most of us do not like it and in this form you will not even know it is a loki kofta curry and then you can dilute once the raw odor is gone dilute it with water allow it to simmer and then start adding the masala powders one by one add ground cashews to give good thickness to this curry You can add the uh, drained water from the loki itself to dilute it. Now I'm adding in the salt and the chilli powder. You can adjust the, the quantity according to your need as well. Again the garam masala, the dhania jeera powder. We have already added them in the kofta so you can check for the you know quantity and then add it 
I'm adding in a small amount of jaggery just to cut the bitterness or sorry the sourness of the tomatoes. Now adding in the cook uh, the fried the deep fried koftas into the curry and this is ready as you can see. You can garnish it with the fresh cream and serve. If you do like the our channel please like and subscribe and continue to watch for more such interesting videos and recipes. Thanks for watching guys. Take care. Bye.